Hi, this is Chuck with Nerd3D. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create animations with Poser. The thing that we're going to be using the most is going to be the animation timeline, which is at the bottom of the screen in your normal Poser UI layout. Let's go over the buttons on the animation timeline. We have a group of buttons on the left. These are basically your playback buttons. This skips to the beginning and skips to the end of the animation. Stop play, and these two buttons skip forward and backward one frame in the animation timeline. Of course we have the little pointer to indicate which frame of the animation you're actually on. The right hand group of the buttons is for working with keyframes. The left and right buttons here skip to the next keyframe in your animation, and we'll talk more about keyframes later. The little key shaped button actually opens the animation editor. We'll talk about the animation editor in a subsequent tutorial. The plus and minus buttons allow you to add and remove keyframes specifically from that frame in the animation. The loop selection down here determines whether or not your playback loops. It doesn't make the animation necessarily loops, it just turns on continuous playback of your animation. The skip frames option allows you to see an animation in real time speed if your computer isn't fast enough to play all the frames at once. The playback will skip frames to be sure that it maintains the actual speed of the animation rather than maintaining the frame rate. Now, let's actually create an animation. And it's really simple. All you have to do is set the timeline to a different frame and then pose the figure. Every move that you make with the figure is actually going to be recorded automatically into the timeline. When I moved Barney's arm, something was happening in the background. We were actually creating keyframes in our animation. I'm going to open the keyframe editor for a minute so you can see this actually happening. Now, as you'll notice, there are some little bright green squares and dark green squares. The bright green squares are keyframes. They actually contain animation data. The dark green squares are in-betweens that are automatically created between the keyframes. There's no animation data, so Poser will use an interpolation between the two surrounding keys to create the in-between animation for you. There's nothing you have to do to specifically create a keyframe. Anytime you pose the figure, any body part that gets moved will automatically have keys added to it without you having to do anything. We'll look at the animation palette in depth in the animation editing tutorial. So if I have, having moved Barney's arm a little bit, if I scrub back to the first frame, you can see that we've already created an animation. Now, we're not going to cover posing characters here, so I've cheated a little bit, and I have created some poses and stored them in the pose dots. And this technique is a perfectly valid way for making animations. You can create animations going from one pose to another, the poses being your primary keyframes. So let's go ahead and do that. First, make sure you've got the base figure selected and click your pose dot. And there's Barney's first pose, putting his hand up. Now, where I put this first frame is actually important. This is the first bit of timing you're going to start worrying about. You need to think about how long in real life it takes for a person to put their hand from their hip to up in the air like that. And I kind of measured it as being about a third of a second. Well, since Poser generally thinks in 30 frames per second, that would be 10 frames. So I put the first movement at frame 10. To continue the animation, I'm going to set the timeline out to frame 20, and I'm going to add my third pre-made pose. Now we have Barney moving his arm the other way. Now you'll notice after the last keyframe I added, the animation just stops. If you want the animation to loop, you can turn on animation, loop interpolation. That will make an animation that automatically loops. Poser will fill in the frames after the last keyframe looping back to the first frame. So this is what we just created. Barney raises his hand, waves, and puts his hand back down. That's all there is to actually creating an animation in Poser. In the next tutorial we're going to go over the keyframe editor, which is how you edit the animations that you've created. Thanks for watching and have fun using Poser.